Without them, there wasn't this room and there wasn't the beer and the food we uh, got all ready. Um, today I want to uh, introduce you or tell you something about the dodnn.org uh, website or community site, whatever you want to uh, call it. Uh, how it's uh, started, uh, what the goal of the community site is. Uh, some tips and tricks, and I will introduce you to the site and also uh, to the roadmap for the upcoming uh, period. I've divided my presentation in two parts. First of all, I'll show you something about the community site. Uh, then I have some questions for you, and at the end, we'll see what the roadmap is. And uh, we end with the video one of the DNA experts from the community here built uh, for us. Uh, the uh, nice. Yeah. Well, uh, so <laughs> this is big physical. So it's all started in Girona last year and it was very old. It might be that I got something too much on my head and I thought, well, um, there was some discussion about uh, how can we uh, get more speed in the community, how can we more work together is the community still alive? All those discussions were uh, gone. And I was thinking, what can I do uh, from my side? I was a developer or I kind of a code. What can I do to help the community be more working, able to work together and get more uh, clients to uh, every single company? We're all having our own company, we're all working and trying to find new customers. How can I help that uh, growing that the situation that you can get more customers, but also that you can uh, more be um, asked for your expertise. Everybody has not the same expertise, not the same skills on the GNN uh, um, ecosystem. Sometimes you're a coder, or sometimes you're more designer or whatever skill you have. But uh, I see a lot of Corporations in the community like working together, doing together in the different projects. So I was thinking, okay, how can I be able to uh, make it more uh, profitable? Um, for instance, if I look in the uh, in Netherlands and Belgium uh, part of our community, there's a DNN news group in the Netherlands and for Dutch speaking uh, DNN users. And if I see there's not a big competition between those companies, they are having their own clients and they're working together sometimes on different projects. And if there one has a problem, there's always another who wants to help or say, oh, I have an idea how you can solve that, or maybe if I can build this part of the project, you can do that one. So I say, I think uh, that's different um, if you look to other kind of communities. The big communities or the more commercial communities, then you see more competition between all those members and say, Oh, I don't want to share my customer information with you because maybe you're uh, picking up, get stealing that customer from my company. So I don't think that's in the DNN uh, um, happening. So I was uh, thinking, Okay, if that's possible, why can't we make that more bigger for the rest of the community? So that's why I introduced Dubinem.org uh, and uh, this site features DNA Express from all over the world and only high qualified DNA experts. So uh, whatever you're looking for, whatever work skill, that's on Dubinem. In short. Um, first of all, I want to introduce you to the website. It's Based on five parts, creating a profile, publishing a showcase, searching for experts, and you can search as a DNA expert for extending your own uh, skills, or if you are just a regular company and you need some DNA expertise, you can also search for DNA experts 
uh, ending project if you want to have some extra uh, hands uh, on on your project and new symbol. First up. Um, and now I've got some more kind of gadget I want to try. So if I touch this one, you can see. First of all, it's starting with filling, filling in your profile. So you can fill in your personal information and the company you're working for. Uh, I think and I believe that DNF expertise is not based on the company you're working for, but it's based on your personal skill. Uh, if I want to hire a an DNF company, another DNF expert, I don't look for a company, I look for a, a, a specific skill or a specific expertise. So I think it should be a personal profile and you can, if you have a company with a few uh, DNA experts, then there are a few personal profiles on the site with every expert has its own skills and expertise. And so the profile is, you are, uh, you are able to fill in your profile with, with your personal information and with your company information. And you can add a variety set of skills and expertise in the list. I think that the list is uh, big enough, even if you work for Envy Store and it's changed to Open Store. So, um, and based on that, we can uh, select which expert that has which skills and which expertise. Uh, it's also possible to add your awards and MVP uh, awards and your memberships like Dean and Connect or Dean and Senate. So if you're looking for an MVP or someone who's in the same community as you are, you can uh, do it as well. So that's the first step. And of course, very important, a personal profile picture. Because if you want to see something, you want first impression. And uh, of course, with a lot of experts, we have got a lot of different profile uh, pictures. So, who do you think has the best profile picture? Da -da 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 -da. Yes. yes. <laughs> Two in a row. Happy. <laughs> it's yours. Okay. After filling your personal profile, it's uh, you are also able to add your showcase. If you are a DNA expert, not necessary to know someone's uh, showcase, but if you are a company looking for a DNA expert because you don't have it in house, then maybe a showcase will help to, okay, what's his skill, what's his expertise, what is he do, uh, does for kind of projects. If you're looking for a designer, you maybe want to see some of his. Uh, size and design, if you're looking for some functionality, maybe you can see, okay, I'm in school and I'm looking for a DNA expert with uh, some uh, background experience in school size. So if you are able to uh, add your showcase and visitors are able to search for the types of showcases. If you're looking for, you can type add modules, themes, training videos, whatever you want, uh, that kind of uh, showcase you can add on the site. It's for searching, but also um, the site is indexed, so if you're adding your showcase, it will help to find uh, in Google uh, your personal profile. And of course, if you add some showcases, then the results, so one expert with the best showcases. Has to be from the United States. She isn't here, I think, this year. But if you take a look at her showcase, there are some great pictures and great websites designed by her. Yeah, to take a look at, uh, at, the, at the website, go to showcase, search for Tessie, and you will see some excellent design websites. Of course, there are a number of uh, other experts giving great uh, design websites, but one of those is, uh, is uh, Cassidy. Then the part where you can search for experts, um, because it's it's not for me to make money out of it. Uh, the one on top is not paying anything. The one on the bottom also. 
for me it's uh, important that everyone, every expert has the same uh, chance have to be the first one uh, on top if we're looking for a list of experts. So every day the sorting will be different. Uh, you can use the search bar for searching on every word in the complete profile, name, uh, description, skill, whatever. But you can also use it for, if you look in a profile, you see every skill is a button. Click on that skill, you see every DNA expert with the same skills. So if you're looking for an expert and say, okay, I need an expert who is uh, good in security, search for security, or click on the security button, you'll see every expert with the same uh, skills. The list uh, also provides a link to uh, the personal profile, which is a detailed page of the, that uh, DNM expert. Um, if you want to know if it's possible to always be on top in the search, no, that's not. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can try to pay, but in my opinion, it's not. So, but you can try. Uh, for instance, the file this profile, it has a profile description, uh, which is uh, about this company, you can uh, describe it by yourself, link to the company website, uh, link to the email address, the country, you can search the country if you're looking for um, a DNA expert in a specific country, maybe if you're looking for some localization experts, uh, in France, then it's easy if you can find it in France because the chance that you will find a localization expert in the US is less. You can see an overview of the skills and expertise that this membership center was and how many times this program is used. So it's easy to find a way of uh, getting in contact with this DNA and expert. The other way is that this profile page is a unique URL, so it's easy to index this, uh, but also to refer to it if you want to, uh, for instance, say in an email uh, signature, hey, visit my profile page on dodnn.org. If you want to expose yourself as a DNN expert to non-DNN uh, customers, then a profile link is it's worth because then they go into the page and say, oh, there are more experts, well, it's an international community, so it will be uh, good for your, uh, uh, for your performance on, 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 on search index and I think also for um, in, in, uh, when a client visits your profile page. Um, so if you look into the profile page, who do you think? has the uh, most expensive profile picture. He was, uh, I don't think he's in the room, but it's Mitch Sellers, <laughs> because he's playing on the picture. And he's, do you see uh, his uh, profile page, his logo, uh, his description of his company, and the list, uh, his description is longer, so it's uh, very good. Uh, to describe uh, your profile, the company you're working for. Um, uh, I, at the end of the presentation, I will uh, tell you something about stats from Google Analytics, um, and then it's important to have a good uh, profile page. Then about the project, if you have uh, DNA experts, uh, then it's easy to find. But still, uh, imagine that you are a company and say, okay, I need some X, I, did, I have a project and I can build a complete project in, uh, on my own, so I need some extra help. Then you can add your project. You can say, okay, I'm starting a uh, school site, um, as a project, starting then, okay, I need someone for teaming and design because uh, the functionality is not a problem, but for the teaming, I have some extra, I need some extra help. You can give a description some kind of information about the uh, type of project and then you can add the project. This you can do without being a DNA expert and without having a profile on the page. You only need to 
sign up as a user and then you are able to add a project. So I try to make it low profile for companies looking for extra hands. And then the project is added to the list of projects. And after that, every DNN expert with the same skills requested in the project will receive an email. Hey, there is a project added on the website. Maybe you're interested in uh, signing up for the project. Then you're able to uh, directly from the site send an, send an email to the project owner and say, oh, well, I, here I'm interested, see the link to my profile. Or you can send an email from your own email uh, uh, application saying, hi, this is my profile, uh, whatever you want to do. So I'm, it's not, uh, it's, it's mandatory if you want to use the site for uh, uh, replying to the project or do it on your own way. That's not, it's not for me interesting how, how you get in touch with the, um, with the project owner. The project owner receives the information, he can decide to keep in touch, uh, get in contact with the, uh, uh, with the uh, DNN experts. Uh, besides that, there's also a list of interviews or mini blogs or mini interviews, how I call them, uh, from a few uh, DNA experts. Uh, I try to uh, send an email to every expert, tell something about yourself, tell something about your company, the work you did. Um, and last, uh, at the beginning of this year, I asked uh, for instance, Kils Barra from DNN Consulting to write a blog about uh, how you use a logo or how you start up a company. Uh, it's more uh, blogging about uh, DNN related things than uh, your personal profile. Um, that is, well, for people who read, uh, come to the site and see the site for the first time, it's easy to read and use. But also, I want to use it for the index of Google. If you have a more uh, price information on the website, then the chance of being found by Google index is, is bigger, and that's uh, good for uh, search optimization. If you are a DNA expert, you are free to write a blog, free to write an article. I will post it uh, if it's normal written, uh, I will post it on the site. It's, uh, there are no uh, rules uh, that it should be on a kind of uh, in, uh, type uh, in, uh, of subject, but you understand that it should be anything DNA related or web uh, related. If you have, uh, if you want to, then it will be read, uh, read a few times. On the right side, there is also the tweet. Uh, which is from uh, Dave Poindexter, who has a tweet uh, machine who is everything we treating about the events in the standards that you are about. So, I uh, showed you how to create a profile, how to add a showcase, and how to add projects. And the most important part is it's free. I don't charge anyone uh, money for adding a profile, I don't charge anyone. Uh, for adding uh, a project, uh, articles written, it's completely free. And I think that's the best part of being in a part of a community, because if you can uh, use this kind of uh, sites for helping to grow your own company, uh, then everyone in the community uh, will uh, receive in a kind of way uh, an effort of it. Because uh, if your company is growing too hard, you need an extra expert. Or you, if you have not that s uh, set of skills and you need an extra skill, it will, you will use someone from the community to help you to be, um, to be more effective. Um, if we take a look at the stats, uh, we have roughly 20-25 unique visitors per day from outside the DNA community. Um, we have five projects already uh, placed directly on the site, and I received a few, five, six emails from 
uh, companies who want to add a project but directly send me the information so I send the email to the DNA experts with the skills. So there are uh, some about 10 projects total in the last year added to the site. That was the first part of the presentation and now I've got some questions for you that you have your phone or your tablet or your um, computer I want to ask you go to map www.mapty.com and use the code 501870 and that's the part I hope it's Work. There is at least one. <laughs> Three. Ah. So I've got some questions about DNA, about your company. If anyone who wants to join is able to uh, to join. I wasn't changed the profile. Oh. <laughs> 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 Sometimes you have to accept. What that, what's your profile? <laughs> Now, Jensen, 92. The problem was when I st created this presentation, there were 89, but then the schedule was sent in. <laughs> As everyone was looking, oh, who's doing it? Do the end? What's that? So I have to change that this morning in 92. And you were also one of the last uh, yeah. yesterday, or did you? <laughs> okay. Well, that's nice. I would love to be on 121 at the end of the conference. So, uh, Mike has a set of uh, cards we uh, will hand out. Okay, so then... Well, that's a nice one. How can we do this? <laughs> it should be... We'll try to. No. What? Sorry. Oh, well, hey. Who was that? Cool. Okay. Just how big is your company? But I think that at least in those first three one, 
there is a lot of expertise in the company, but al not always every expertise and not every skill is available. So for that kind of companies, it's easy to uh, search for dynamics best and for this also. Okay. Then there is an arrow on the right side. <laughs> okay. Um, are you familiar with Upwork.com or Freelancer.com? Everyone has spoken. So, no. Freelancer.com and Upwork.com are sites where you can ask for freelancers or companies who you can add your project and say, okay, I have uh, a school site, I have a piece of JavaScript, I have uh, this kind of stuff, I need it, I want to pay that money for it, I should be ready at uh, that time. And then as a user of Upwork or Freelancer.com, you can uh, sign in and say, okay, this is my profile, I can do this, it costs you that kind of money or that. Uh, uh, the, uh, that number of weeks and then I will deliver. They offer, uh, they have the availability of that uh, the money will be in between when the project is ended and the uh, uh, source code is handed over and the money will be uh, uh, changed. Um, those sites are very generic. You can ask for a DNN developer, you can ask for someone who writes text, uh, whatever it is, it's all over the world. The disadvantage, I think, is that there is no selection of who's creating a profile. Uh, there is no check of quality. And there is uh, a lot of people who say, okay, I can do everything. If you add a project and say, okay, I need a DNN expert, then you will receive uh, a few emails, a lot of emails, and say, I can do that. And if you ask a few questions about DNN, they cannot answer it because they are thinking, well, I know WordPress or I know Sitecore or whatever I know, I can do that. Just hand me over the code and I will fix it. Uh, so that's not what was, that was not my idea about do DNN not work. Um, when I see a new profile, I will do some check of the profile. If I know the person, I visit some of the community events. So most of the experts I spoke personally on one of the events, or I see his work on the community, or I check some sites he created. But if I see a profile, I say, I, I can't remember his name. I can't, I never see the guy or, or, or the women on the forum. Or I never see doing anything in DNN. I will send them some questions. Hey, can you show me some of your work? Or can you describe what DNN project you did? And if it's not, some, most of the time I didn't receive an answer because they don't think it's checked. But if it's, uh, and if I see a list of <coughs> someone who has every skill, okay, just checking, do you do anything or is it your company or whatever. Uh, so I try to get the profiles uh, accurate because for a company outside the DNN community looking for an expert and say, okay, I want an expert on, for instance, open store. Then you want someone who knows how to configure up a store. And if he gets an answer from someone, say, oh, I know, I know. But then he has uh, no clue about what's open store. Then the company won't go, go back to do the end of work for the next project. So for me, it's very important to have uh, accurate profiles on do the end. And that's the disadvantage of Uber.com and Freelance.com. They don't check profiles. Uh, the quality of the answers is very... Uh, difficult of different between uh, uh, the different projects you uh, are added on uh, on do the of on the um, freelance.com and upwork.com. Is there another question? Yes. I think there is another question. In what case? It's an open question. You can add some text. In what case would you hire a DNN expert? I think you're able to type it now. Should be.
Okay. A few, uh, yeah, I see some difference. Uh, expanding your team. So I have 10 people in my team, but I've worked for 12, so I need an expert. And I see um, out of my portfolio, out of my skills, security friends. I think if you need something about security, uh, then it's hardly to have all the expertise in your team. Then you have, you should be uh, doing that a lot of times if you want to be on top of uh, everything uh, about security. So we're lucky that we have a few people in the in the profile list with security and uh, uh, skill list. For instance, with Shellis, which is doing a session about security in this uh, event as well. Um, so that's the way, that's the reason I try to have the list of skills where you can choose uh, from uh, a, 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 as large as possible. So. Uh, that it's very uh, that you can precise what skill do you have and what skill do you need. Nice to see the list uh, 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 about when you want to grow or when you have too many work. Uh, then it's easy to find uh, a DNA expert. Who uh, said too many work or the t uh, too too much work? Uh, okay. Uh, if you um, looking for extra hands, um, is it easy for you if it's uh, if you're hiring someone who has not a uh, DNN uh, experience, I think it's very hard to have someone helping you in your product when he's not DNN uh, expert or when he's not DNN, when he did not do anything in DNN before. So maybe he's good in HTML or CSS, but if he doesn't understand DNN, then it's always hard to get him on uh, running in your team because DNN has always. Uh, uh, some need some extra information before you can, can, can do the work. So then it's easy that you can choose from DNN experts who already have that background and say, okay, I can help you uh, with that, for instance, that styling. Okay, back to our presentations. The roadmap. I uh, have a roadmap in my mind and say, okay, if I want to do the next year um, with do DNN, what would I like to have? I would like to have some more people on the team um, for helping me creating uh, the site, uh, more news on the site, more articles on the site, helping uh, for getting more publicity for the do DNN site. So I'm looking for help. I can place a project on the side, but um, that's one. Two, it's uh, very important is to have more projects on the side. I think if you have your profile on the site and you will receive every month one request for a new project related to your skills, I think that's why you still be interested in keeping your profile updated on duty and end of work. So I'm looking for uh, ways to have uh, people from outside the community placing projects on the do DNN side and also from inside the community more at least outside the community. One of the things we did last year is we uh, invest more than thousand euro in Google AdWords campaigns for uh, advertisement around the do the of do DNN experts, DNN expertise, do .NET new dot new net uh, whatever keyword was uh, DNN related we we uh, we, we started a, a, DNN, a campaign on Google for uh, people from outside the community to find this site if you look on uh, DNN experts uh, Google on DNN ex experts it's the first site stopping on top in uh, in Google search uh, the nice part is that from DNN Corp they are also mentioned in DNN tweets. Uh, where people are, are looking for help from with the hashtag DNN CMS, Clint was replying with, oh, you can search on the forum or you can find an expert on do DNN.org. So that kind of way, uh, that kind of help is enormous because then people from outside the community are also pointed to this side and say, hey, this is the list of experts. Um, 
Third point is I like to have direct links from vendors to the site. And the first example is uh, Open Store. If you go to the Open Store website, and I have an example of this, uh, this is the new Open Store website. And there's a list of companies who are working uh, in the DNN uh, world, but are experienced with implementing Open Store, configuring Open Store, designing Open Store. It's all, of course, Nivo Web, but there are also some other agencies uh, working with um, Open Store. But the best part, at least from my point of view, is the last one. It's Do DNN. But it's not the list of Do DNN from all experts of the Do DNN site. No, it's directly redirecting to the DNN experts with the skill Open Source. So if you click on that link, you will see a list of people with the expertise in open store. And if more vendors will do that, it helps to grow. And for you as an expert on, for instance, open store, it helps because you are in Google in multiple ways, always related to open store. And that helps if someone's looking for open store uh, expertise. So this is an example I'd like which helps the community to grow as a, a set of experts. I think the quality of experts in the DNN community is very high, so it helps to uh, get more information on the site. Um, and the last part of the roadmap is I'm looking for a sponsor. Because I want to keep the profiles for free. I want to keep the projects for uh, adding for free. Um, I'd like to have more articles and news, but I don't want an expert to pay for that because it's, it's, it's his expertise. But I'd like to have also a, a kind of more AdWords in the campaign. So I'm looking for some sponsoring in the upcoming month for companies who are maybe DNN Corp or some kind of hosting companies as a um, a, a big marketing budget and say, okay, I'm, I'm willing to pay for that and helping uh, to get more publicity uh, around it. So, it will be looking for bloggers, looking for projects and looking for ideas. So, if you have an idea, please uh, keep in, get, send an email, whatever you do, but uh, do help us uh, with your ID. If you want to add an article, a blog, or whatever, uh, uh, write about, just send it to me and I will publish it on the website. It helps, you know. And if you know, you're looking for an expert, then keep in mind that it's free to add a project. You're not, uh, you have the choice if you have received the information from DNN experts to do something with it or just keep it in your mailbox, but at least try it to use it when you are looking for um, the, uh, a, a DNN expert. And that's the end of the presentation. I will have some room for questions at the end, but I want to show the video is uh, made for DNN, do dnn.org. And it should be... Oh.